here. Today I'll be installing my gun and take super max headers on my 07 Ram. They're supposed to send me the procedure in a box that didn't, so I had to go online and get it from them. All I really want is the torque values and a few of the tricky steps. Pretty easy. It's in color. Pretty much came with everything you need except for anti-seize. And some lube to break the bolts with. Another nice rainy day in Washington. So, uh, I'm doing it in the garage with Justin Jackson, Jack's fan. So, I'll get it all set up that far and then I'll show you all the rest. Jacked up. We're going to take tires off. My preferred spot with the weights already distributed. Maybe you want to put them somewhere else. That's my preferred location. <sighs> Alright, tires are moved, so on the jack stand. I'm just gonna move this fucking mud guard. All these little screws everywhere. All the way around in the mud flap. Don't forget to make sure you pull that out. It should go on the other side. The wire connected. All right, remove all this using a eight millimeter uh, screwdriver. See if I can get this started. This is on the back side for the brakes looks like. Um, there's a heat shield and a log header. Bag here moved. Alright, go to the other side. <coughs> Driver signs off. Since we're down here, go to the ice cart. Spring right now. Do the same thing on the other side. All right. Now, as this thing tells me, we're moving the other two sensors. All of them. And the way it tells you is to label them. On the driver's side, right above the cat, is your first one. Faster side, above the cat. Faster side, behind the cat. Driver side, behind the cat. Right. The way the thing wants you to do it is to label them. Well, that's where I'm going to... 
do a little bit different. I'm just going to put them on here, loosely, hold them in place, so I know where they go when I put it back on. It's a little easier for me. That thing says you need a 7 8 combo. So that's all we'll do. Alright, I'm moving the O2 sensor. There you go, there's a cable, there's a sensor. Just follow the cable back. And, and then you'll get back to there. The yellow spot over there moved it. It's pretty easy. Just remember where each one came from. You just have to put the extensions on them. O2 sensor from the driver's side back one. It says be careful with it. it. Looks pretty bad shape really, but I'm not messing these too much to know. But it says be careful with it, so I'm gonna put it in here since safe place it can be. Nothing really to damage it. Any grease or oil or gas or anything on it. So it's just staying there. Till I actually plan on stalling it and I'll take it back out. Set it to the side. Probably put it in the old one just to keep it there. Keep it safe. All right, now I'm going to take the other ones out. I keep forgetting I'm doing this so you can see, so pretty easy. Once you break it loose, she comes out. There's the plug. Back passenger side. This is plugs pain in the ass to get to this all the way pretty much on top of the tranny. So have fun working with this one. I'm gonna go argue with one on the driver's side because it's a pain in the butt to get to because uh, this axle is in the way. Our drive shaft actually, but um, looks like the only way it's really easy to get to it is pretty much right against the cat, parallel with the cat, and uh, try and get it that way. There you go, four cats. Or, wrong word. 402 sensors all removed. Just like it says. I already sprayed it with oil. Did that before I even decided to do that. I don't have that muffler. And I start moving everything. Alright. Next up is to remove these four bolts from the transmission mount. Want to get the wrench on it? 15 millimeter. Use a deep weld. Then support transmission, which I'll do with probably the jack that's in my car because I don't want to use the big jack for this. I'd almost rather have it under the front just in case. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and do that. Then remove the cross member. And probably my skid plate since he doesn't talk anything about it. So, alright. Definitely smaller than a 15 millimeter, so I guess to that when the time comes. As I said, I've been playing a few times, so I've got a little bit of dirt on there. Oh well. All removed. Uh, 
first guess. Score right. It's 14. Three of these. Just. It's on the back end too, on the other cross member. Take these four bolts off, skip pad, and uh, move. Then let's go and do that. And one skip plate moved. Maybe I'll clean it up a little bit, or just drop it and nothing to break up on it. But I was wrong. It's 13 millimeter bolts. One came off fine with 14. <laughs> the rest did not. Now to get my transmission supported in an appropriate location. All right. Now that that's supported. Take off these four bolts on each side. We need an 18 millimeter on both sides of it. And a breaker bar for the first few turns. Cross members off. Needed some agitation. To get it all the way off. Transmission supported. Handy jack stand. Um. Yeah. Next thing is moving the heat shield. Loosening the bolts on here, which I know are 916s because I installed it. Moving the two bolts on the cats and pulling it out, and then piecing the other one together. So, um, I'll get it moving the heat shields and loosening that. And then we'll go from there. The heat shield off is just a 10 millimeter. Quick and easy. Four bolts on each side. I'm going to take that off. Back one's a little bit longer than the front one. Definitely can't use a deep bolt up here because coil over so and the last one four bolts off just a little bit of wiggling A little wiggling, bending it a little bit, and it comes right out. Not the easiest thing because the coil overs in the way. That's one. Now I do the other side, and I won't show you that. All right, next up. Moving two bolts on the cat, pulling it down and all the way out. 
I'm gonna spray the bolts on the header, both sides, before I get started doing playing with the cat so they can soak while I'm doing that. That'll be it. Alright, all you really need to do to get to your bolts is a 15 millimeter, and then it's pretty easy after that. If you have a ratchet with one of these heads, it makes that a little bit easier. Or if you want to use a combo, sure. If you have one of those nice ratcheting ones, probably be better in this spot. So, so I'll do the other ones and uh, get to it. If I have difficulty with any of them, I'll just show you how I got to it, and uh, hopefully, y'all should be able to figure it out from there. Since I don't want to come apart, I'm just going to go ahead and take the passenger side header off. Hopefully, it'll help the cat come off, and then I'll pull it out. Because I don't want to want to kick it apart right now. I don't want to flip it up in the jack stand that's sitting right by the pipe, behind the pipe, actually. So. Put this on. Guess what I'm done, and then I'll figure out where we're going from there. All right. That's a mistake. And there's nine bolts on the passenger side. I'll have to look at the fucking instructions without actually counting them. But the 13 millimeter definitely a deep weld. I'll get started and um, show you where I have trouble at. Should be pretty easy. Cut, <laughs> cut and dry. Uh, make sure you spray them down with some uh, liquid wrench or something before you start. The outside ones. Are 13. The inside ones are 10. I don't know why they do that, but they did. So whatever. Deep weld's not too hard to get past there. It's a little bit difficult, but not too bad. So hopefully that might help y'all out. Alright. Nine bolts later. And you got one log. Style. Head her out. <sighs> Doesn't that look beautiful? From this to that. Yeah. Now to get the cat mid pipe all out. Alright, one thing this little stupid thing doesn't tell you anything about 
is this right here for some reason. Uh, right, pfft, right after the white pipe. Hopefully the second in part will make it easier. Alright. Stock mid pipe, cats all out finally. Um, now I don't recommend doing it the way that I did. I'm just going to say yellow strap was part of it. That's about it. One recommend taking woodworking tools onto a vehicle. Hopefully your exhaust isn't as hard to put together as mine was. Because that's the son of a bitch sitting over there. Now I'm going to go to the install. Putting the headers on. And, uh, yep. I already moved the headers out of order, but whatever. And I see the bolts. Whoops, way too far. Driver's side first. I'll show you pieces of it. plastic stuff and uh, get it all ready get it over there and I'll show you the rest when I get to the actual putting it on Alright, you see on the top of the, or the bottom of the headers, we got a little slot on each one of the bottom bolts. So you can go ahead and start the bolt. So you can go ahead and start all the bottom ones, all the way across. So you can just set the bottom in and then put the top on. So that's how I'm going to get this started and get both down in here and uh, go to town. Make sure you put the, flat, the gasket on there when you do it. This helps it stay there while you're doing the rest of this. Alright. Before you put the bolts on, you want to make sure you put the NICs on. Just going to find mine. Hopefully you know how to apply NICs. It's pretty easy. You just put the first through shoe in, bring it up to the bottom. Set it on the first four bolts that you put on. I'll show you a little bit better on the other side because it's a little dark and I can't see too much on this side to show y'all. And then you just these next four screws for some of you people don't know how to do it, I guess. You just take your screws, put it on one at tip, and then rub two tips together to get it on both of them. I would show you, but I only have one hand and I'm using my phone because my other camera broke today. Thanks to dirt falling off the exhaust into it. There you go. It's on. And let's see if I can get this to stay here while I put this on for me.
just like the kit says on the back on the driver's side, the fuel lines go over the kit. You just put the, their heat wrap on it, duck her side up. Pretty simple. <sighs> Finally got the headers installed late last night. Torqued them, 20 foot pounds. It's a pain in the dick to get to a lot of them, especially with a large torque wrench. But it's on there. Pretty simple. Get the bolt on. Put a bolt on one side spacer, a little gasket. Slip on. Pretty easy once you get the cats bolting on. Just keep them loose. Three bolts. Take the clamp. Hook up the Y pipe to the driver side, and then to the passenger side. Then take your extension tube. You may have to cut it. I don't have a quad cap. So it's designed to go straight on the quad caps because they're longer. Push it into the muffler side, and then you make it fit on the white pipe side. I'll argue with this for a little while, and uh, pretty much show you when I'm done. That's about it for this. Um, and I'm using the O2 sensors and putting the extensions on them so they reach, and then putting them on. Finally saw my down to tech hitters on my truck. <sighs> Kings. Magnaflow cats. Cat back exhaust. 